Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and I have come up with a very interesting problem of thermodynamics. So guys, this video is presented to you by Indian School of Physics and uh, Unacademy together and name, name of this problem is Piston and Springs. Uh, my current course is on Unacademy is uh, INPHO Foundation and JE Advanced 2023 uh, uh, <clears throat> started on February 9th. Guys, it is a very unique course and uh, I'll request you to inform uh, about this course to other people who are interested and who are looking for uh, Olympiad preparation. And you can access my theory courses on Plus platform. These are advanced Plus Plus level courses and you can boost your J preparation using these courses and uh, you can unlock any test series or uh, test papers or courses or free courses on an academy using my code Nitin sir. So wherever it is asking for some kind of invite code or passcode, you can use this. For more information, you can visit uh, www.unacademy.com. And guys, uh, trust me, physics will never be the same again. And uh, very in important information is there, guys. On uh, 14th, there is All India Mock Test for J-Means 2021. And uh, the timing of this will be 2 to 5 p.m. And a uh, lot of prizes are, uh, rewards are present for this uh, particular exams. And the top uh, rank one, he will be getting 1 lakh rupees uh, Amazon voucher and a 3 months IITJE plus subscription. So that is a huge uh, bonus, I'll say, huge reward, I'll say. And uh, for rank up to 200, they will be getting some kind of uh, reward. Uh, yeah. So here is the statement of this uh, problem. There is a system of two cylinders and a spring S1, S2 as shown in the figure. Cylinders and pistons are thermally insulated. System is placed in uniform gravity and all the all surfaces are smooth. A mon monatomic gas with N moles are placed inside the cylinder system and a heater system is attached to the left container as shown. The heat is applied very slowly. It is given that initially spring S1 is relaxed and after heat is supplied, the spring S2 becomes relaxed. It is given that the initial temperature of the gas is uh, T0 and uh, pressure is uh, Pi. And you can assume A2 greater than A1 or uh, A2 less than A1. We, we are going to discuss both the cases here. So now you have to find out what is the ratio of final uh, energy of S1 to the initial energy of S2 and what is the change in the volume change in the volume of the gas during the process and how much heat was supplied uh, by the heater or taken by the heater in that case because if A2 greater than A1 we are going to take we will be getting heat is actually taken by the heater so we can uh, solve if suppose you want to find out the heat supplied by the heater then uh, uh, the better assumption will be uh, a to less than a1 so here let's find out the initial conditions in this case since it is given uh, the spring s1 is uh, relaxed so on balancing the forces on the piston uh, i can say uh, the spring force will be zero so atmospheric pressure and uh, the weight mg these two are the uh, forces so initial pressure of the gas is known to you that is uh, p0 plus mg by a1 and similarly here I'm, I'm going to try to solve this uh, problem under the assumption A2 greater than A1 and in the last we will check if our answers are positive or negative based on that we can uh, further change it. But method wise it is going to be same that's why I'm solving in the symbols. In the actual problem they might give you the values also. So here on the piston 2 if you balance the forces atmospheric pressure and gas pressure and mg there is one more force that is spring force i haven't drawn because i don't know whether uh, compression is present or uh, elongation is present but if you substitute this value of uh, p gas uh, because in the both the cham chambers the pressure of the gas is going to be the same so if i substitute this value here i am going to get p naught a2 and uh, plus uh, mg a2 by a1 this P0 A2 and this will get cancelled. Now if you see uh, the net force in upward direction is more than uh, the net downward force. So definitely you can say uh, the spring was initially compressed. If I am solving with A2 greater than A1. Otherwise I can say uh, for A1 less than uh, for A1 greater than A2 a spring will be elongated in that situation. Mm. Anyways uh, let's move to the next part. Uh, by using this, uh, I can find out the initial 
compression in the spring 2 which is going to be mg a2 minus uh, a1 a2 by a1 minus 1 because here one unbalanced force will be there spring is compressed so that is going to be in downward direction f spring so f spring plus mg is equal to this uh, force and if you simplify you are going to get this equation so here this initial uh, elongation or compression is known to us and initial potential energy stored in the spring is also known to us so for the next part finally the, uh, it is given the spring s2 is relaxed and uh, s1 may be compressed or elongated we will check so if s2 is relaxed we know the pressure uh, in both the chambers that is going to be p0 plus a, a, mg by a2 now uh, initial pressure was given so i can substitute the value of uh, this uh, p0 in terms of initial pressure using the previous equation and if i substitute simplify this i am going to get final pressure of the gas uh, which is p initial plus mg by 1 by a2 minus 1 by a1 so again depending on uh, a2 greater than a1 or a uh, less than a1 you will uh, see in this situation pressure is falling and otherwise pressure is going to be uh, more in that situation so both uh, conditions are there so in the same situation again if i draw the forces on uh, first one atmospheric pressure mg and uh, this new pressure into a1 if i check now i am going to find that f downwards net force in downward direction is going to be more than f upwards so definitely this spring s1 will have extension if a2 is greater than a1 otherwise uh, it will have compression that means positive work done uh, will come on this piston anyways uh, so both ways guys you have to be comfortable uh, now when i do this unbalance uh, balancing of forces i will find out uh, the net force kx uh, kx1 finally that is going to come as mg1 minus a1 by a2 so magnitude wise x2 initial and x1 final both are going to be same so from here i can say uh, that us1 final and us2 initial this ratio is going to be one in this case after that this question is very easy second part is change in volume so you can see here uh, the change in volume in the right part because uh, it was having uh, delta x and uh, finally it is in uh, natural length so a2 x2 initial and uh, the uh, this is coming down right this is coming down similarly in the second part that is also coming down so that value is a1 x1 final so if i substitute the value of uh, x2 initial and x1 final i'm going to get this as the answer so this is the change in volume i'm not explaining the calculation part i think you can understand easily and uh, next part is heat interaction guys so uh, it's given n moles and uh, monatomic gas so i'll be writing this delta u as uh, uh, i'll be writing this delta u as ncv delta t so uh, initial temperature is given to us uh, we can calculate by the given parameters we can find out the final uh, uh, temperature also in this situation and guys here if you see the work done by the gas so i'm solving it under the assumption of a2 greater than a1 this piston is coming down so you can say negative of mgx2 gravitational potential energy corresponding to the initial energy stored in the spring and atmospheric work done these three terms are going to come all will be negative in this case because gas is getting compressed from both side under the assumption of a2 greater than a1 and uh, here also final pressure also was less uh, in that situation uh, so here you will see uh, on the second piston similarly i can write work done by gravity work done by spring and uh, you know the the atmospheric potential energy work done these forces if these energies i adjust here you will see that this term and this term is going to get uh, equal magnitude will come for these two so overall i am going to get this w gas as uh, negative so overall this heat is negative so there is a remark guys here if a2 is greater than a1 then actually heat is not supplied it must be rejected so the the correct condition i should have taken in order to calculate heat supplied by the heater this a2 should have been less than that so then delta q will be positive so i hope you have uh, understood this question properly and uh, you have enjoyed this solution as well 
so if that is the case please uh, share this uh, video with other uh, students and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it leave a like i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it